In this video, we're gonna show you how to install a catalytic converter pipe on your Nissan Versa located underneath your vehicle. Underneath your vehicle, you're gonna find this cross brace right here. And we're gonna use our 12 millimeter deep socket to remove the four nuts supporting this here and then remove this bracket. Now we did spray it down with some rust penetrant. You wanna go ahead and do that before you start this job. that bracket, set it aside. I want to go ahead and remove our oxygen sensor from the CAT system itself. Now there's a connector right here. On our left hand side, there's going to be a little push button or tab on the side. You want to push that in and then disconnect the connector. Now we'll go ahead and remove this here. Now we're going to use a 22 millimeter open end wrench. They have a O2 sensor socket you can use. It has a split in it. We're gonna try our wrench here and loosen this. Now you might have to use some rust penetrant on this here uh, and or some additional heat to go ahead and loosen this and remove it. You want to be careful if you're using heat, you don't want to ruin the sensor. It tends to be a good practice when you're replacing the catalytic converter to replace your oxygen sensor anyways, but if it's not bad and you don't have to replace it, well, just be careful of removing it and set that aside. Now up underneath here, close to the engine, there is the flange right here for the cat. And there are two 16 millimeter nuts, one here, one on the other side. So we wanna go ahead, loosen and remove those. We're gonna use an extension and our 16 millimeter deep socket and come up on the back side here from underneath, loosen and remove these. Now we did soak these in a rust penetrant. You can see that dripping off of there. Highly recommended when you're doing a job like this here so you don't break these studs off. Go ahead and remove the nuts and the springs and set those aside. Now we have our cat here and it comes back to our flange and then it meets up with our muffler flange right here. Using a 14 millimeter socket, we're gonna go ahead and loosen and remove the two bolts. We did spray these down with some rust penetrant. Now before that pops out completely, I'm gonna go ahead and break the other one free. And we'll go ahead and work that one out. Now when this bolt comes out with the spring, be prepared. This whole cat pipe can drop down on you. So just kind of support that when doing this. Now we just want to go ahead and work this cat system down off of the engine. Rotate that out and drop that down. Now on the cat pipe that has the flange, it bolts up to the muffler area or the mid pipe. You want to go ahead and install the donut here. Press that on. Let's go ahead and install this component here. So feed the catalytic converter flange up and in. And what we want to do is feed this up to the manifold. I'm going to line that up top. Get the flange lined up with those studs. Go ahead and feed that on. It's going to take a little bit of work. There we go. All right, we made it up top. Now we're going to come back to the mid pipe with the flange here. Now in the mid pipe section here, let's go ahead and feed our spring bolts through. And once we get these started, we're going to go ahead and tighten these down. You can just use your ratchet 
and tighten these down. So we want to go ahead and push this flange up onto our cat or onto our manifold itself. Push that up and you want to get one of those nuts started on there. Might be a little easier said than done. We'll try the other side. Okay, we got that one on. What I may do is put a pole jack or put a jack underneath the exhaust to help push that up for me to line that up. So I don't have to hold the system with one hand and try and get that nut on with the other. Now, when I do this here, I want to be careful. We don't want to damage the pipe. We just want to go ahead and push this up. And jack it up and push that pipe on there. There we go. We can go ahead and release the jack, lower that down. And we'll get rid of the jack. Now when you're tightening down these nuts here, there are stoppers on these studs. So just tighten down these two nuts, there it is, it just bottomed out. Make sure this one is bottomed out as well. There you go. So that flange is now completed. Install your O2 sensor. I put a little anti-seize compound on the threads here. Go ahead and line that up. I'm going to thread that in. Now when you're threading this in, you want to go ahead and rotate the wires with it. You don't want those to bind up. Go ahead and tighten that down. your connector right here. I'm gonna tuck that wire up like that. Install your cross brace here. Just tighten these down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.